a GTS with a lightweight pack, rear wheel drive, rear wheel steer, bucket seats and a manual gearbox. Surely this is the very best all rounder. Well, stick around. Yes, stick around because manual cars are getting scarce. Yet yeah, Porsche understands the appeal of stick shifters, which means rare as it is, old school manual versions of the 911 GTS are still with us. And having that choice available is wonderful. Yet with the PDK semi-automatic gearbox being such a fantastic transmission, this manual shifter needs to be as at least equally impressive. And so to find out if pulling that stick and pushing that clutch can be as fulsome a driving experience as the snappy PDK and to find out if this lightweight packed GTS can challenge a GT3. Join me, Roger Bailey, on what is going to be a great day of Porsche driving and discovery. And you join me at Porsche Centre Chester, that most agreeable dealership who have kindly let us out in this sharp blue beauty, which at the time of filming is in their sales inventory and so And with more than 500 horsepower, and yes, I know Porsche say it's 470 horsepower, but come on, we don't believe them anymore about that one, do we? Independent testers have proven that these are way more than 500 horsepower. And well, that makes this car feel like a Carrera S with anger management issues. So the main appeal of the manual gearbox is the amount of engagement that it gives to the driver. And as brilliant as that PDK gearbox is, it doesn't offer the same level of involvement, engagement and tactility that this manual offers. And it's a gorgeous feeling manual gearbox. Clutch is light and this movement is as smooth as anything. And so that lightweight pack, well, it includes these carbon bucket seats, which are pretty comfortable and a number of other weight saving goodies, which we're going to talk about in just a few minutes. See, I've just been driving a GT3 with a manual gearbox and after jumping out of that one and straight into this one, it's raised a couple of questions. So let's just stop driving for a minute, park up again back at Porsche Chester and we're going to take another good look at this car. Details such as the way it sits 10mm lower than a standard Carrera giving it a purposeful stance and we see black, yeah the colour black which is what the GTS is best known for from the bodywork highlights to the window surrounds and into the interior. Where it's easy to tell a GTS apart from lesser 911 models, not just by the GTS logos but from the Racetech fabric being almost everywhere. There are some nice sections of leather in there. Well, as you guessed, in black. And there's aluminium trim sections, which are anodized in black. And then, of course, there's the black center lock wheels. It's a racy feeling scheme, made more so with the removal of the rear seats. And it's a racy experience, simply by the way you have to climb down and into the bucket seats. From any viewing angle, it is certainly a looker, especially when seen in the metal. So much so, really, I can wait no longer to get going again. Shall we? So is this GTS like a GT3? Well, in many ways, yes, it is. However, it doesn't match that car for dynamics. However, what it does give you is choice. GTSs exude quality and feel rock solid to drive, no matter which body style you choose. And body styles, well, there's coupe, cabriolet, and there's a target body, each with two or four wheel drive up for grabs. And your GTS has other options, such as a full leather interior being available, and you can option a full-size sunroof. There's three choices of seat, plus one of those fabulous Burmeister sound systems, and there's many more tempting goodies and luxuries, all at a price, of course. However, this GTS has been specified with one simple aim. Yeah, and I, I think that's a trip down to the pub. We don't condone is drinking and driving or going to the pub for that matter. Now, what I meant to say is driver focus. 
because the GTS lightweight pack does away with an awful lot of unnecessary fripperies. Fripperies such as the rear seats, a chunk of the soundproofing and added paper light seats, lightweight glass and all told these measures save about 25 kilograms making this not just liveliest drive but makes this particular car quite a rare find. So how does our lightweight GTS drive when it's compared to a more common stock GTS? Well, it just so happens somebody's left us out a GTS which has got the PDK box. So that is very kind of them. And well, it'd be rude not to give it a try. Well, it's an obvious difference. The PDK car with the comfort seats and better soundproofing feels cushier and is slightly quieter. So this was a useful comparison. And now by the magic of my editing software, we're back in our lightweight manual car and this definitely is not a placebo effect because our lightweight manual sounds louder and has a slightly more dynamic feel than the standard GTS. I think some of the loudness actually comes from the road noise from those tyres. And so what about a comparison with the most focused of all, the GT3? Well, as luck has it, someone's left a GT3 with a manual transmission lying around in this pub car park. So let's grab the opportunity and jump straight in. Yeah, so this car is actually quite hard by comparison to the GTS. It's got a louder engine, road noise is about the same, surprisingly it's probably the lack of soundproofing of the GTS that's causing that, and uh, by comparison the steering is much sharper, much more direct, feels more like a race car. And interestingly, gear ratios are stacked closer in this car, there's only six gears, but they're stacked closer, better for performance. I'd guess that the GTS's seven-speed gearbox is more attuned to, well, probably for saving fuel. So yeah, two very similar cars which feel pretty much completely different. So I think it's time we just put this GT3 away and jump back into that delightful GTS. So there we are, back in the GTS, which is a nicer place to be with its more compliant suspension, less frenetic steering, and it's a bit more laid back than the GT3. So it's got me thinking about the GT3, in fact the GT3 Touring, which, well, the GT3 Touring is exactly the same as the GT3 in every single way, except it just doesn't have that wing on the back. Whereas this car, well, surely this is your Touring. Anyway, just putting that GTS GT3 touring debate to one side for just a minute uh, and I'd be interested to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, surely the 911 GTS is the best real world 911 that there is. Well, that's the commonly held view, but the gaps between the 911s are narrow. From the basic Carrera upwards, they are just all brilliant sports cars, with our GTS sitting right in the middle, above the Carrera and below the mighty Turbo S, with the GT3 out there for ultimate in track driving dynamics. And so, the 992 GTS is the most complete, all-round performing high-end sports car you're ever likely to need or ever likely to come across. Our GTS is not just comfortable, it is unrelentingly fast when you push it offers seemingly limitless grip and makes even an average driver feel heroic on fast twisting roads. It also makes a fantastic flat six bellowing noise when pushed hard and on the right road, it serves up so much next level handling and enjoyment you'll want to take it out for no other reason than to revel in the satisfaction it offers. And this manual gearbox stimulates and rewards your driver input and once you've spent time driving it hard, it will remain in your thoughts long after you put it away. There's a 
good reason that the 911 occupies its top spot in the Pantheon as the archetypal sports car. And this GTS we've just driven here today only justifies that accolade even further. Operating that gear stick and that clutch pedal, albeit while seeming a little bit last century, gives a driver a timeless appeal and a large dose of tactility at the same time. And when done well, it's a satisfying process. And when that box is hooked up to the driver interface of the already sublimely versatile 911, it's easy to see why the GTS remains such a fan favorite. And so tell me, how would you take your Porsche 911, manual or PDK? GTS or perhaps GT3? Let me know in the comments. I read every single one and I'll reply to most. Meanwhile, thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please click the like button. Feel free to watch my other videos and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.